All right, let's go ahead and take a look at your homework from last night. Um, I know we went over that first problem just so that you knew how to set up your table. It should look something like this. Um, if they're not in this order, it doesn't matter. It's fine. Um, and your graphs should look something like this, okay? Um, this is kind of a cool, unique graph. You don't see a lot of stuff like that. You will later on in math, but um, it's kind of neat to see how it curves around like that. And if we were gonna be doing decimals, like if we did um, a rectangle that was 0. 0.5 by uh, 24, then it would be, you know, it's getting closer and closer to those axes as it continues on in both directions. Um, now, the question is, is, is this proportional? I think we can all agree it is not, right? Because it doesn't follow any of the rules. So we can say um, this, is not a proportional relationship um, it does not cross so it does not cross at the origin zero zero and it is not linear okay you guys good on that one mm -hmm. yeah awesome okay now this next one we're talking about bamboo okay and it grows 60 centimeters per day um, and your table might not be exactly like mine I saw that some of you were smart you saw that the um, that the scale down here goes by threes so you did three and 180 for your first one, six and 360 and so on to make it easier for your graphing. That is totally fine, okay? And um, you actually don't need to graph every single point. So if you look at my graph, I only graphed the three and the 180 and the six and the 360. And that gives me enough, you can't even barely see it, but that gives me enough to then um, connect it to make my graph. Like that. And did anyone do um, the 0 0.9 for nine days? What, how many, what was the um, growth after nine days? Uh, 440. 440? 540. So if we look at this, it does, it crosses almost exactly at, well, no, it's a little low. Anyways. Um, a lot of times, if you just graph a few points, then you'll be able to um, see where it goes, right? Um, anytime you see a proportional relationship that is doing the same thing every day or over time, um, or per, th you know, uh, per um, time, like, anyways, you're, you're gonna see a proportional relationship there. Okay, so this is classic. The same thing is happening every single day. It's proportional, okay? So here, for this one, we can say it is proportional, it crosses at zero, zero, and it's linear, okay? All right, so today what we're gonna do is we are going to um, find the constant of proportionality if we're given a graph. So you need a piece of graph paper today. If you don't have one, grab one from the basket on the side of the counter, side counter. And if you're in third period, you can just hop up and grab one.
Oh, you guys can't see that. I'm sorry. All right, go ahead and get your page set up. So today we're going to be finding the constant of proportionality if we're given a graph. So we've already done it where we are looking at a table and we use those ratios in a table to find a constant of proportionality. Well, today we're going to pull it from a graph. I'm actually going to start by writing down the steps for accomplishing this and then I'm going to show you some examples and we'll use those steps to find the constant of proportionality. Okay. Step one, we want to confirm that the graph represents a proportional relationship. So we're going to Confirm the graph is proportional. Okay. Once you know the graph is proportional or represents a proportional relationship, we're just going to pick a point off of that graph and use that ordered pair, your x, y. Um, to help us find the constant of proportionality, okay? So step two. Select any point x, y from the graph. Honestly, at any point will work, but there will be some that are easier than others to use, and I'll, and I'll show you when we do an example. Now, we know that to find the constant of proportionality, we are going to divide our y by our x. So we're going to use this formula to help us find the constant of proportionality. So once we pick a point, we'll just divide our y by our x to find k. And I want to make a special note here. That the, that the constant of proportionality is the unit rate. And remember, we had a trick for finding the unit rate on a graph. If you um, go to where the X, on the x-axis, if you go to 1 and you go straight up, that's the constant of proportionality. Sometimes it's easy to find the constant of proportionality that way. Sometimes it's not because it doesn't cross exactly all, um, at 1. So you would use a different point then to help us. All right, so let's do an example so you can see. Put a little box around my note here. So keep these notes, keep these steps handy so that um, you can look back at it when you're doing your homework, when you're studying for a test, whatever it may be, okay? I'm just gonna do a small graph here. And this, this graph is going to be comparing um, time in minutes to laps. Okay. Now, 
Now, it doesn't tell you whether it's laps in a pool, laps around a track, how big the track is, but we've got enough information here that we can, we can work with it, okay? So I'm gonna put the scale on the bottom. We're just gonna go do a, a scale of one, so that way it's super straightforward. zoom in a little bit too so you can see that better. All right. I'm going to put a point at 3, 2, and 6, 4. And then make that line. Okay. And I'll label it here too just to help you out. This is the point 3, 2, and this is the point six, four. Okay, let's, um, let's go through our checklist here. Is this relationship proportional? Yes. yes, it crosses at zero, zero, and it's linear. Okay, now step two says to pick any point x, y. So let me do that. I'm going to pick um, the, I, I like to pick the easiest one. I'm going to pick three, two. So I'm going to pick the point three, two. And just a reminder, this is our X and this is our Y. Step three says to use the equation. So now that I have a point, I'm just going to divide my y by my x to find k. So k is equal to the y is 2, the x is 3. Now, if we divide that, it's going to be a repeating decimal, so it might be better to leave it as a fraction. So we can say that the constant of proportionality is 2 thirds. 2 thirds. Okay. And then it's also important to say, well, what does this mean given the graph, okay? So I'm gonna answer that in a complete sentence. I'm going to say, this person, actually, we don't even know it's a person. It could be a dog, it could be a horse, who knows? Okay, but we can say this person completes two, thirds of a lap every minute. So on your homework, you're going to be asked to tell me what the constant of proportionality means. This is what I want you to write. Okay, you're basically interpreting it. You're saying this person completes two thirds of a lap every minute. Okay, put it in context basically. All right, let's do one more. So you have um, some experience doing a couple different types of graphs. Any questions on this so far? Actually, let me point something out to you before we move on. The constant of proportionality is the unit rate, right? So if you go to one here on this graph and you go up, you see that it doesn't cross exactly at the crosshairs there because it's a fraction, it's two thirds. So sometimes it's hard to, to know for sure what that is, and so we use any point to just divide our y by our x. And now that we know that the constant of proportionality is two thirds, we can look at our graph and be like, oh yeah, that makes sense. It looks like it's crossing right at two thirds, okay? All right, new example. Uh, this time we're going to be comparing miles per hour. We're going to be talking about vacation driving. Your graph doesn't need to be super big because we're going to use a, a different scale on it. Uh, 
I'm going to label this vacation driving so we understand what the context is. And we have our time down here in hours. And over here, we're talking distance in miles. Okay, so along the bottom, I'm gonna use a scale of two. So two, four, six, eight, ten, and so on. For my distance from home, I'm gonna use a scale of 92, which is a little odd but it will make sense in our context here. So this is 92, 184, uh, 276, 368, and 460, and we'll stop there. Can you guys see those numbers? Are they too small? Here, let me make it a little bit bigger. Okay, now I'm gonna graph my line. And I've made the scale perfect so that the line is just gonna go like this. So it crosses at 2, 92, 4, 184, and so on. And I'm gonna connect it. Okay, so sometimes the graph will help you out a little bit. It will tell you a point. Like on the uh, example that we did above, um, the, the, some of the points were labeled. We had three, two, and we had six, four labeled, okay? Sometimes you're gonna go to a graph where it's not labeled. So you're gonna have to go to the x-axis and the y-axis to find out what those points are. So let's do that. I'll label this first point right here. That will help us. So if I look at this point and I go down, it's crossing the x-axis at 2. So my first point is 2. Then if I look up, it's crossing the y-axis at 92. So this will be 92. Do you have to use that point? No. No, you can pick any point. Like if I go up here, this point is 10 for my x and 460 for my y. In fact, that might be a super easy one to use because the math is easy when you're dividing by 10, right? So let's do that. Let's pull out that point. Let me scoot this over. So we're gonna use that point right here, 10 and 460. So this will be our x and this will be our y. And then to find the constant of proportionality, you just divide the y by the x. So that will be 460 divided by 10. And when we do that, we find that k is 46. Now I know I've said it before, I'm gonna say it again. I want you to be more than just a calculator. I don't want you just to write 46. I want you to actually tell me what that means. And on your homework tonight, I actually have a question to answer about it, so that way you don't forget. So we can say that this is 46 miles per hour, okay? So we can say they are driving 46 miles per hour. Not too bad, right? Okay, so now what we've done over the last few days is you, um, you can find the constant of proportionality if you're given a table. You can tell whether or not a table and a graph are proportional, and you can also now find the constant of proportionality given a graph, okay? And tomorrow we're gonna take it to the next level. We're gonna be writing equations for proportional relationships. So you are going to be able to find, uh, write an equation for a situation, a graph, a table, all that, okay? 
But for right now, I'm gonna let you guys get started on the homework. You'll notice that there's no answer checker because again, it's just the, some of these things just don't lend themselves very well to answer checkers and that's okay, all right? So go ahead and get started on that. Let me know if you need anything.